It's a food joke. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, thanks everyone for joining us. Uh, you're here today to learn more about making the most of Specialty Food Live, um, a seller guide to success. My name is Leo Squartrito. I'm the Vice President of Events and Member Development here at the SFA. And I am here with Scott Evans from our, uh, our provider, our platform provider of SF Live, uh, Balloon is the name of the company. And Scott will be walking us through some things and I'll be walking us through some things. And uh, hopefully by the end, you'll learn a lot about how to, how to make the most of this great event that's happening in May from the 10th to the 14th. So uh, let me go ahead and share this agenda with you. So today what we're going to learn is a lot about how to make the most of this event for yourself. So um, I've already welcomed everybody, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the show hours and uh, general buyer expectations for our sellers. Uh, so our current show hours for this event or for all of our digital events is 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern time. And um, we're trying to accommodate uh, West Coasters and East Coasters. Um, just keep in mind, this is a digital event and you don't have to be sitting on your computer the entire time. As long as you're logged in, you're going to get messages, you're going to get emails, and you will know whether a buyer is looking for you or asking a question about a product. But during those 11 to 6 hours, just know that buyers will be reaching out, asking questions, checking out your products, showing up as new leads, which is stuff that we're going to talk about today. So from a buyer's expectation, they just want to make sure that when they have a question for a seller or a specific question about a seller's product, you're there and ready for them. And I'm assuming that the reason why you're doing SF Live is you want buyers to engage with your products and hopefully buy lots of them. So um, like I said, logging into the event and staying logged in during the event is a good idea. Um, remember that buyers can come into the event for 24 hours a day for the entire event time frame. So just because they've logged in at nine o'clock or 10 o'clock at night doesn't mean you have to be logged in. You'll still get a message that they've communicated with you or asked a question of you that you can respond to the next day, which will go to them and, uh, and you'll still be able to communicate with them. So I uh, wanted to get familiar with the seller landing page and the navigation icons. We'll go through that. Um, the community posts and how and the importance of actually posting in the community and watching for new buyers when they come on board and how to post. Scott's gonna talk about that for us. Uh, Buyer-seller communications around messaging, chat and video, creating appointments with folks and buyers trying to create appointments with you. That can all be done inside of the platform. Um, buyer and seller meetings, as I just mentioned, can be done and scheduled inside the platform as well. So that's something we'll talk about. Uh, Scott's gonna go through the sales match program, which is a proprietary program that we have with SF Live through our Bloom partner and how to use it, how to get the most of it, and how many matches you can do each day, and what to do with those matches each day after you get them. And then managing your leads area, and that's an important area, obviously, that leads area is where all of those leads are for all those buyers who show up inside of your showroom, your profile, <laughs> check out a product, all of those leads will show up there, including all those sales matches as well. We'll talk about how to manage that, how you can use that, how you can message to it as well. Um, and then lastly, I'll talk about the Infinite Isle and our, for our Infinite Isle members, which is our new SFA uh, member program. We'll talk about how it works, how um, uh, members can use that inside of, their, uh, inside of their showroom. As long as you've already gotten yourself set up for Infinite Isle, you'll be able to create a um, buy now button on your products. And we'll talk about how that looks and how, you, how do you manage that. And uh, there's going to be a lot more information coming for those folks as well who are already signed up for both. Uh, there's still plenty of time to get set up for IA before the event. And then last, we'll take some questions, but you can ask questions throughout the whole time just by using the Q&A area. And that is down on the bottom of your screen. You'll see Q&A. You can ask a question at any time. Either I'll stop Scott and ask the question for you or I'll address it in the chat uh, in the Q&A area as well. And then any additional questions that you have, please use member dev team at specialtyfood.com. That'll come to myself and the member development team. And we'll happy to answer any questions for you utilizing that. Okay, I'm going to quickly share uh, my other screen here. And so that you can see the seller landing page. Okay, here we go. So I'm logged in as a seller uh, right now. And I just really wanted to do a quick overview of the seller landing page for you. Um, this is how you know you're logged in. 
Uh, I'm actually logged in as this True Gold Honey Company. Um, they've done a great job creating their profile. Um, but just so you know, all of your communication items and meetings and everything happens right here. So this is your message center. This is where you're gonna find notifications from buyers uh, asking questions or requesting um, meetings with you. All of your connection requests will show up here as well. Um, across the top here, you're gonna see is the community area. And this is where all the posts are. And anytime a new buyer comes in here, you're gonna see that buyer show up. Um, you see a new buyer from William Sonoma came in a couple of days ago and a BNA food. So uh, Scott's gonna talk about that area. Here's your content area. This is the area where you create your showroom, update your profile, add your products. We talked about that yesterday in a webinar. If you missed it, that webinar has been recorded and it's on our sf.com, specialtyfood.com website under the exhibitor Q&A area. So all of those videos are there for you. Today's will be there as well. This is the programs with the educational content going on during the event. My network is where you're going to find all of the folks that you made connections with already. Services where our business service providers all live and all these companies that would love to do business with you. This is the sales match area that like I mentioned that Scott will talk about as well. The leads area, which is a great area and something you're going to want to keep track of. This is where all your leads will be and where you can reach out to them and connect with them. Our pavilions, this is where all of our international pavilions and any of our partner pavilions, their information will live here. And then if you need help, uh, help during the event, this is the best way to get help by calling our help desk or emailing the member dev team. Um, this is also where you'll find our press center as well. So that's really the, 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 the biggest part of kind of the, what do I see when I get here? Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it over to Scott and I'm gonna let him share his screen. And Scott's gonna start to talk about really the uh, community posts and some of the other stuff that you need to know to be successful inside of Specialty Food Live. Gotcha. Turn it over to you, Scott. Thank you, Leo, and thank you, everyone. Uh, I also am logged in. Uh, actually, wrong screen, hold on, dude. There we go. Thank you, everyone, for joining today. Uh, once again, I'll take it from the same homepage Leo just reviewed with you. Uh, the next tab over is the community feed, OK? Uh, this During a Live event is one of the most popular, if not the most popular feature uh, you know, and it's a great tool for you to proactively promote your products, promote your, your great brands, uh, you know, and it is also a way for the buyers to discover you as well as for you to discover the buyers. Um, you know, I would really encourage you, you know, in the days leading up to the show to put together a posting strategy. We see a direct correlation between the number of leads and connections and messages and inquiries you get from buyers with the number of posts you make. You know, if you can post a couple times a day, at least even more, the better. I mean, obviously everyone has different resource availability, but you know, the more you post, the more attention you're going to get. And uh, these posts, uh, you know, you can post images, you can pro, uh, post video uh, and all of that. And you can also, and I'll show you how to do that. You simply click share a post. You can post as yourself as an individual. So your name would be first and then your company after that, or you can post as your company. OK, and if you have multiple brands within your company, you can choose. They'll all appear here in this little uh, drop down pick list and you can choose which brand you want to post as. So, you know, you can post a message, just type it in. Nothing, um, nothing unusual about this. You can attach up to 10 megs of content. OK, um, you just grab it from your desktop, attach it uh, like if it's an image or whatever. Uh, and it will post, okay? You can also, if you wanna post a video, just grab the link from wherever that video lives, drop it in here, hit return, and that video will play right here in the uh, social feed for you, okay? Now, one other thing I wanna point out, you, there's different types of sharing. You can share with anyone, that means anyone that the uh, SFA has vetted, pre-registered and qualified to be here, uh, but they may not be logged in at the time. You can post with anyone who is logged in in the community. You can post just to buyers. If you don't want sellers to see your posts, make sure you choose buyers only, okay? If a seller does click on your post, they're not gonna get into your showroom. They're not gonna see any product detail. They're gonna see very limited information about you as a seller anyway. And then you can post to only companies you're connected with, okay? So those are your options. Uh, really simple. Once your content is in the, in the, uh, in the um, input box, you click share 
and it will post, okay? Um, so really, like I said, several times a day, use that feature, keep it dynamic, talk about what's going on on your profile page, what your availability is, if you have show specials, all that kind of stuff, really great to do. Um, the other flow here I wanna show you is how you will meet a buyer. So you see, uh, this is a new buyer that logged on a couple of days ago. You simply click visit new member, and now I'm at their landing page, okay? And from here, this is what isn't set up yet, but from here, I can request to connect with them. I can send them a message just by clicking message. You'll get, if they have multiple contacts, I'm sure these guys will, uh, you choose what contact uh, you wanna talk to, and you can send them a message. Once again, you can also attach materials to this, uh, up to 10 megs of materials. Uh, you can set up a meeting, very easy. You click here, they will have set their availability. So you'll choose the day from the drop down. you'll see what times they are available. You choose a time, you choose who within the organization you wanna meet with, enter your topic. Uh, they've already pre-populated with a Zoom link. So uh, they're gonna use their Zoom link in the meeting. Uh, you can enter some notes about what you wanna talk about. Uh, and then any other people that you want to invite to this meeting, uh, you can, you can uh, you can add them in the guest email, okay? Um, boom. All right. So the next thing I want to show you, I'm going to go back to the buyer landing page, is the live chat. Um, I, and I'll demonstrate this in a moment with Leo. But uh, the live chat, you simply click chat, choose who you want to chat with, say hey, time for a live chat. And I can send this message, start chat. They will get a little pop-up. Leo, do you want to send me a chat request now? At the top of the screen, just so you, you know, uh, at the top of the screen here, they will get a little message that says, so-and-so from uh, this seller company would like to start a chat. And I can, there it is right there. It's the incoming chat from Leo. And then I will join that chat. And here I am, okay, where I can begin uh, replying, okay? And then uh, you can have your live chat here. Now on their side, they have a little uh, window that follows them around uh, throughout the, the website. So you can, that's how that works, okay? And the flow in this SMS style happens here. All right, back to the buyer landing page. You can also, um, you know, if you have set up your showroom so that connections only can get in or connections only can see pricing, you might wanna connect with, a, uh, with, a, with the buyers that you feel you wanna let into your showroom. Okay, uh, and you'll see up here also that I'm receiving any requests for meetings that, um, that the buyers send to me will appear here. These are some messages that are appearing. Leo's sending me messages now. Uh, here's one here uh, in your message center, okay. Notifications are system type notifications or if the SFA wants to send you a note, it will appear here. And connection requests, any buyer that has said, hey, I'd love to connect with you to build my network. Those will appear here and you can accept, deny, or click through and go investigate that buyer from this screen, okay? Um, so really those are, the other thing is, um, you know, buyers when they come to your landing page, I'm gonna go to this particular company's, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna switch views here, guys, bear with me for a second. Um, I'm gonna go to True Gold as a retailer Okay, I'm gonna to go to their company profile page, okay? And you can see that, you know, uh, as a buyer, I have all of these options, okay? So if I wanna initiate a video chat with myself or with, um, with this company, I can click video, same kind of thing happens. I choose who I wanna have a video chat with, I send the message and that same bar uh, will appear at the top of their screen where they can join that video conference right away with you from that window, okay? Um, Back to the exhibitor login here. Um, <laughs> I wanted to show you very quickly um, sales match and leads, okay? So sales match is a, uh, a, a machine learning tool that you will use to meet the kind of buyers that you're most interested in meeting, okay? Uh, and all you'll do is the first morning of the show, uh, you'll come in, and you'll come into Sales Match and you'll click on the Business Preferences tab here. And here you'll see a variety of questions that the Specialty Food Association has set up for you to sort of identify the, the attributes of the type of buyers you wanna meet. Uh, and you'll come through here 
uh, you know, what type of business category are they in? Are they retail or food service? What type of buying authority will they have? Uh, are there specific product attributes that interest the buyers? You know, these might line up with some of the attributes of the products you sell. Uh, how many stores do they have? You'll see all the special diet type, all of these pro uh, 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 different attributes that you can complete. You know, we've got the job titles in here. So, uh, you know, this is all data we have as well as we're collecting data on the system based on browsing behavior. So we know what buyers are looking at, what kind of companies they're connecting with. And we, we create that data layer, which also drives the results of this matchmaking tool. Uh, if there's specific type of companies, if you happen to be veteran owned or minority owned, women owned, you would certainly wanna let them know that because that is uh, a parameter that some of the buyers uh, are looking for with their, their suppliers seasonal products, these kind of things, okay? So once you set that up, now before I go too far, I want to call your attention to this note. If you put in too many preferences, what you're really doing is you're narrow casting, right? Uh, you're making it such a narrow and specific set of criteria that the buyers have to meet that they may not be such a big pool of buyers. So <clears throat> if you can try and keep your, you know, your uh, the number of preferences you choose uh, fewer preferences will yield more results, okay? So that's just a little tip to keep that working for you properly. Uh, and then once you've saved all of these, then you click the matching buyers tab and you'll see all of the buyers that match your criteria, okay? And from this screen, you know, obviously I can click through to this buyer. I can start a message with them, set up a connection with it, whatever, set up a meeting. I can do all of that here. I can accept them as a lead, in which case they will go into my leads module and I can download them later or interact with them now. But uh, if you, if any of these leads are ones you want to uh, keep uh, and download after the show ends, you're gonna wanna accept them as a lead because you can't download matching buyers. You have to accept them as a lead to be able to download them after the show. You can hey, connect Scott. with them, you can dismiss them and you can- hey, Scott, real quick, um, Bruce had asked, uh, do the buyers have to match all the criteria <laughs> for them? to match or just one of the criteria? Yeah, that's a good question. So the way the logic here works, Bruce, is that it is between fields, it's an and logic. So they must be in the United States and authorized to make a decision, okay? But within each field, it's or. So it could be they're in the US and authorized or make buying decisions, US or they're in the US and recommend buying. You understand? So it's. It's and between the fields and or in between. So it's in this case, I'm just talking about these two fields. It's matching US and authorizer makes buying decision. Then it matches US and recommends buying. Yes, and, and specifically they're looking, these folks are looking for folks who are looking for sweeteners specifically as well. So, right. So then it would be, that would be the third criteria. So if you match either of those first two, then it'll ask you, uh, if, are you interested in sweeteners? Okay. Hope Thanks. that helps. All right. Okay. So matching buyers, like I said, uh, a great tool. You know, these will come in every night uh, during the show. You'll actually get an email that says, hey, you've got new leads. Click here. You'll come right to your leads module. Uh, you know, these are really valuable, uh, really important part of, um, of the whole program that we're offering uh, on SFA Live. Um, so I very quickly now want to jump over to leads. So if you accept someone as a lead, uh, they will end up in your leads module. But that's not the only way your leads get in. If anyone has partic participated in any of our um, SFA live shows back in September or January, you know that the system generated leads are really, uh, 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 it's part of the DNA of the whole program. So anytime a buyer interacts with you in any way, whether you're aware of it or not, whether they go to your profile page and uh, find you in a search result, or they click on a product that might be featured on the buyer landing page, uh, if you're a sponsor, you've got an ad, they click on that. Anytime they interact with you in any way, if they go into a showroom and look at a product or they submit a question about a product, it will all create a lead for you, okay? Uh, and those leads, you know, are, are happening in, uh, to, to Leo's earlier point about not worrying too much if you're missing any action because you're not logged in or you're not available. Uh, these leads are being captured around the clock whether you're there or not. So don't worry too much about that, okay? Uh, and in this lead, screen, you know, you can, you can do a lot of things. You can see where the source of the lead, what, where it came from, and all the definitions are under the question here. You can see, uh, see where they came from uh, right here. 
Uh, you can also set their status, whether a hot lead, open lead, warm lead, cold lead, kind of this mini CRM type of thing. Okay, and you can also click on every lead and you're gonna get some detail. You're gonna get the name of the, uh, of the user. Um, you're gonna get their email address and their job title. And that one happens to be a press member of the press. So let me go to another one. Uh, let's go to Cheryl. She's the co-founder of this company called The Well Curated. You see her location, the things she's interested in and her email address, it's all there. You can keep notes about this lead, um, you know, which is you know, maybe, a, like I said, a mini light CRM type of thing to do. If you have messages with Cheryl already, they will appear here or you can create new messages. Uh, you can also tag uh, any lead. So let's say you have a, a larger sales organization and you want certain reps to handle certain reads, may, uh, leads maybe based on region. You can say, hey, this is so-and-so's lead. And then you can sort by leads when you download or sort by tags when you download. And then this activity section is probably the most important. Uh, we don't have any buyer data. There's no buyers. We're not live yet. So I'm going to jump into another domain and show you this. But any activity that they have taken will appear here in real time data you will know if they you know if they found you in search result if they looked at a, per, a certain product in your showroom there'll be a little thumbnail of that product you can mouse over it and see the name of that product if they watched a video if they went to your profile page you know if they've done anything at all you'll know what that activity was uh, in this activity window uh, and i'm going to have to jump to another live domain to show you that okay um the other thing i wanted to point out while i'm logged in here is how to set up your own meeting schedule so under Real the quick, drop down go ahead Real quick on that leads area though um sure. scott so just just to reiterate that that activities area is really shows you exactly what that buyer did when they visited your showroom or your profile or as scott said right down to the product level so when you communicate with them, you can say, I saw you might be interested in this specific product. Are you interested in us sending you a sample? So you can literally get to that granular of a level with them. Sure. Yeah. So I see you looked at this product. You can send them a message, you know, attach a price sheet with that product, whatever uh, other information you might have. Uh, you know, it gives you the context you need to be able to reply to them in an effective way. Okay. And like I said, I'll jump to another live domain to show you how that works in a moment. Um, very quickly, one other thing about leads, you can do bulk action with them. Uh, you can message to them all. You can share your showroom link with them all. You can archive them or you, this is how you export them. You can export them to a CSV file if you want to put them in some type of, uh, you know, maybe sales or automation tool that you use, a uh, marketing automation. Uh, you can export them all CSV and files can, along with all the detail. And we'll send that, um, everybody asks about how to export leads because you, you may not remember that later on, but we will send right up before the event ends, we'll send some instructions just to make sure you remember how to export your leads because everybody wants to be able to export all their leads. And you can export ju just some too, just by, you know. And if you want to sort by tags, uh, you can do that too by setting right here and then you can pull them all out, okay? Like if you want to just export your warm leads, you can do that. All right. Um, okay, so give me a moment. I'm going to jump over to that other domain, Leo. Um, yep, just remember, um, if you have any specific questions or anything that you need a question answered on right now while Scott's doing that, if you um, type it into the Q&A section at the bottom of your screen there, uh, we'll happy to answer any questions that you might have, similar to what Bruce had done about the question around sales match. Um, but we will happy to answer any questions. And then if you think of a question after this is over and uh, you want to ask it, feel free to send that to member dev team at specialtyfood.com and either myself or someone on our team will answer that question directly with you via email. Okay. I'm going to reshare my screen. Boom. So here's a lead module in a different domain that is live. This is a, in a, a different industry. It's in the apparel industry, but uh, you know, you can see these these leads are coming in every day. Well, this is a year round marketplace, uh, but this will tell you when the last scene when they came in. Uh, and then when you click on any specific lead down here, this is some data in the activity section here. You could see that on April 26th at 1116 a.m. They viewed my company profile. Uh, and here's a I can see on March 19th at this time they viewed a product. I can mouse over it. So it's a recycled product. That's the name of it. Um, 
you know, and you could search by leads. If you're looking for a certain lead that you knew came in, you can click on that, open it up. And I can see once again, they viewed my company profile a bunch of times. They sent a message to someone at my organization and they inquired about a certain product. There's a, a, a send a message to the seller on each product detail page. So that's what they used about these leggings, okay? Um, you can also export all of that, all the messages that are exchanged between you are exported when you export your leads as well, okay? okay real, real quick, Scott, um, as it relates to the leads, I know that we have turned on the function that uh, provides the email address for every lead now, uh, yes. whether they're connected or not, so that uh, sellers can connect with that buyer. Obviously, the buyer has the choice not to respond back to you, but all leads are available. And then uh, Alexa had, a, had asked um, when she downloaded her leads, for some reason, it didn't include the emails. Is that something that uh, I, I wasn't aware of that? I, yeah, I, I, that, it's, if that was the September show, that might have been the case. But yeah, um, we had some stronger um, privacy related things on them. We did. Point. And, yeah. and we, you had to be connected in the September show. But we changed that for the January show. Um, if you're still having any trouble with that, let, let us know. Uh, and I will have the engineering team look into that. But uh, that should not have been the case. You should, yeah, it should bring over all the information, Alexa, and, and everyone else that you have in your leads area, including emails. And if that buyer provided a phone number, that phone number would come over as well. Correct. Okay. Um, so I'm going to jump out of this, Leo, and go back to SFA Live. Great. Do you want me to go in now? Yeah. You want me to, you want to cover off on Infinite Isle for a minute before we get yeah. to Q&A? Okay. Yeah, let me do that. Hold on one second here. Okay, you see my screen here? Mm -hmm. Is hemp, this hemp love? No, it's not showing yet, Leo. Okay. Me. Let me screen share. This should take care of that. Here we go. Okay. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to just go over quickly was um, the new feature around the Infinite Isle program. As I mentioned in the beginning, We've started the connection between our Infinite Isle program and our SF Live digital events. And so uh, Hemp Love is uh, signed up for the Specialty Food Live May event, and they're also fully ready and transactional in our new Infinite Isle program. So as long as you're signed up in SF Live and fully transactional in Infinite Isle, you will be able to add this visit site to buy button on your products so that buyers, if they choose, can buy your product right here from the SF Live event in May. And all they would do is once they come into your showroom and select a product, uh, so they, if they were to select this product, they would see this little visit site to buy. They would know all the specifications around this product. And if they wanna buy that product, they can go ahead and do that here directly in Infinite Isle. And you can see that product is right here they can choose how many cases that they want and add it to cart. And these buyers would be paying via credit card, just like a regular e-commerce uh, Shopify type of situation for the SF Live event. So, um, so that's how they would do that. If you're currently set up in Infinite Isle and also SF Live, we're gonna be sending out instructions on how to do this. It's a two-step process, really, really easy. And then we give you a direct link that you put in right at the product level and it adds this visit site to buy button and sends them right to that product inside of Infinite Isle inside of your account there. So really easy. There's still time to get set up in Infinite Isle. Uh, if you go to specialtyfood.com under the um, underneath the um, uh, member benefits section, you'll see the Infinite Isle section. There's a place to sign up right there. If you have any other questions around Infinite Isle, please feel free to email us at member dev team at specialtyfood.com and we're happy to answer any questions around that program as well. And Leo, do you wanna talk for a minute about um, the, the integration uh, and data maintenance between the Infinite Isle program and SFA Live? Yeah, great, great uh, point, Scott. So um, one of the things that a lot of folks have been asking us is, you know, I really don't wanna to have to add my stuff in for three or four different places. Uh, right now, this, the SFA is going through a complete digital transformation 
Our old product marketplace will be transformed into basically what you see here. Uh, this will become the new product marketplace, what you see here inside of the SFLI platform. So you'll be adding your information one place, and then this information will cross into our Infinite Isle program, and we're working on it so that it crosses into our Map Your Show program, which is what manages all of the exhibitor information for our fancy food shows. So the, the idea is you enter it once, you update it once, and it crosses across all of the different things SFA related. Um, and same thing with uh, single sign-on, you'll be able to sign into the specialtyfood.com website, and that sign-on will help you be able to get into your SF Live account, which is your product marketplace account, as well as your Infinite Isle account. So it'll be seamless across all of our platforms with SFA. That process is happening right now. It does take a little bit of time. Uh, they're building a brand new website for the specialtyfood.com uh, website as well. So there's a lot happening, but that's where we're headed as it relates to your data and making it as easy as possible for you to be able to enter it, update it, and for buyers to be able to find it. Good stuff. Okay, so I think that's all the stuff that we were gonna to share today. So we are open and available for any questions that you all have. If there's any specific questions, even specific questions that you may have missed yesterday's, because um, we have a little bit extra time, if you have any questions from yesterday's webinar specific to a couple of the little areas on um, getting set up, um, that video, just so you know, the webinar we did yesterday is um, was recorded and it'll be added to the, um, the, the exhibitor FAQ area on specialtyfood.com under the Specialty Food Live uh, section. So if you missed it, you can see the whole video there. It's a 50 or 55 minute video. And Scott and I walk through everything you need to know about setting up your virtual digital booth adding products and the whole nine yards. So um, feel free to, to check that out. Leo, one other thing I want to add real quickly uh, is, you know, I, I spoke about the social feed. We both know that, you know, uh, it's really the, the, the more posts, the more leads. It's really that simple. Uh, the, another thing that really correlates high with leads is, the, is these widgets that, you, that uh, Leo is, is uh, showing you right now. The more you create a, a great user experience by using these widgets, you know, the more leads you'll get. Uh, if this is really, you know, just delivering quality information about your products, your company, who you are, what you're all about, uh, the more photos you put up here, the more downloadable materials, more video, all of that content really creates a great uh, experience. It's super informative for, uh, for the buyers and, you know, it, it tends to uh, convert them into, uh, into customers and uh, to leads and then hopefully customers. Um, so I was encourage you, uh, you know, uh, to engage with them through content, as well as through all of the engagement tools that we've talked about today. Yeah, and Beth, uh, this this um, webinar is being recorded, and it will be made available on the specialtyfood.com website under the Specialty Food Live event under the exhibitor FAQ area. So uh, it will be there, as including the one from yesterday as well, which was the onboarding one, which really kind of walked through step by step on how to make your profile and showroom kind of look like what True Gold has done here with video, with these um, these widgets that uh, Scott was just talking about, you know, um, adding videos and new other images and, and ways to link buyers right to your website and whatnot. Any other questions? You're welcome, Beth. <laughs> Any other questions that anyone else has? If Again, if you have any other questions, um, please feel free to reach out to us. It's member dev, D-E-V, team, T-E-A-M, at specialtyfood.com. And we're happy to answer any of those questions that you might have for us. We really appreciate you all joining us today. And of course, being a member of the SFA and joining us at SF Live uh, for the May digital event. So we, we appreciate you all coming. And if you have any questions, please feel free to email us. But, but thanks, Scott. And uh, thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.